Hi everyone and welcome back to this week's episode of JDP's Questions, Wings and Things. This week we have the one and only true nice guy of the industry, Anthony Bradovich from the ABC. Let's see how we can handle the heat. Okay, so first question, can you Give us an idea of how things have changed in your space and community over the last three years or so. Grab, grab a bite. Yeah, grab a bite grab first. A bite, uh, <laughs> enjoy. Nice. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> the question of the wing. The question is um, the last thing on my mind right now. It's very hot. <laughs> things have changed, I guess, um, in my community. Well, obviously, the first thing coming to my mind is is that there are like new people graduating. So the, the types of like experience that people have has changed in that time. Oh, sizzling now. <laughs> which, was, which has meant that it's changed in now. <laughs> it just went up that. So that has changed how uh, companies are working with designers. Which is, I guess, the best way for me to put it without having to go and let any more of my, my chili. Number two. That's actually a bit better. Yeah, you can really, you can really taste the, 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 the chili. Um, can you please repeat the question? <laughs> How have you gone with the work from home scenario over the past four months? Yeah, so I feel like we've actually got to a place where we're probably more efficient because we, we, had, we had this... Oh. Um, we had multiple states already, so we had to we had to communicate online already. So we actually got better at doing that. So okay. so for us it was like we, we were struggling at that and we wanted to improve, and then COVID forced us into that. Okay, so question three, you're doing really well, mate. What do you find is the biggest misconception that non-designers have about designers? The biggest one I I come across all the time is that. Uh, Design is this fun, awesome hobby where you make things pretty. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you make things pretty. It's right in my lungs. And in reality, <laughs> it's, it's done by everybody all the way through. You did well to concentrate on that. I'll give you credit there, man. I'll give you credit. I'll yeah, credit. I'm, I'm struggling on that one. How have you overcome being roadblock within the role when it actually comes to pushing design and UX forward? I guess the uh, the thing is you got to keep going. So proving value is like easy once you've done it, because it's all it's like this. Yeah, I proved it. And uh, just like you approach any other problem, you have to figure out how to get there. And it's and it's not something that just because someone has figured out how to how to do it, it looks like they've done it every night. Why have they all got skulls on them? Right. Question five. Do you find it hard to keep the creative juices flowing within a more corporate environment? How am I trying to put this together without thinking of the chili? Uh, <laughs> so certain environments may not scream creativity. Like if you were working at like an insurance company or you're an accountant, but I believe based, based on the box framework. Yeah, but I need to operate. And, and you may not be making something which looks as like 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 sexy as like a Nike thing or as yeah. fantastic as like a brand new um, app which is there for mental health or. But uh, in that, you can still find creativity in the process. So I think that's where you need to unleash your creativity is like get your pens out and be like, we're gonna do like, like just like service designers will, will break down a very complicated workflow and be like, no, we're gonna do, we're gonna do make little hand puppets now. So <laughs> there's always creativity to be found. I like it. Yeah. Nice mate. Just, yes, just I'll, I'll finish final, it. I'll finish. <laughs> the final crunch, the final crunch. <laughs> mm. How have you found that? Yeah, this is like a great free lunch. <laughs> no, you, you've done really, really well. And, uh, you've done really well. You, you controlled the voice on there. It's just starting to peak a little bit as well. That's that. That about that about concludes things for this week on JDP's Questions, Wings, and Things. Anthony, Brado, thank you very much for joining us, mate. And uh, thank you we'll for having me. We'll see you next week, guys. Take care. Bye. <laughs>